Many people experience complaints of burning sensations in their lives due to acid reflux. The condition occurs when the sphincter valve at the end of our esophagus, just before the stomach, doesn't function properly. When we eat, food travels from our mouth and esophagus to our stomach. Once food enters the stomach, the sphincter valve closes, preventing the backward movement of food from the stomach to the esophagus during digestion. However, sometimes the valve fails to close properly, allowing stomach acid to enter the esophagus, leading to the condition known as acid reflux. It's important to note that while everyone may experience acid reflux at some point, if this condition becomes recurrent immediately after eating, it is referred to as GERD or gastroesophageal reflux disease. In patients with GERD, frequent acid reflux can cause damage to the cells in the walls of the esophagus, leading to inflammation known as esophagitis. If GERD is not treated promptly, it may even lead to esophageal cancer. Therefore, doctors often treat GERD with medications, but if medications are not effective, they may suggest a specific procedure called fundoplication. Now, let's understand how the fundoplication procedure is performed. Fundoplication, also known as Nissen fundoplication, is a small surgical procedure that can be performed in two different ways laparoscopic fundoplication and open fundoplication. Before performing the fundoplication procedure, doctors conduct a detailed examination of the patient's stomach using gastrointestinal x-rays, esophageal manometry, which measures pressure in the esophagus, and endoscopy. Approximately 22 to 24 hours before the procedure, patients are usually instructed not to eat or drink anything. In laparoscopic fundoplication, the surgeon administers local anesthesia to the patient and numbs the surgical site. Then, a small incision is made in the abdominal region, and a laparoscope, a device with a camera at its front, is inserted through the cut. The surgeon uses instruments to wrap the upper portion of the stomach around the lower portion of the esophagus and closes the wound with stitches. In contrast, Open fundoplication involves the surgeon administering general anesthesia to the patient, making a large incision in the abdominal region, exposing the stomach, and wrapping the upper portion of the stomach around the lower portion of the esophagus. The wound is then closed with stitches. After the fundoplication procedure, patients may experience a sore throat for one to two days. They are often given fluids through a vein for nutrition, and a tube is passed into the stomach to remove gastric juices. Patients are usually advised to refrain from eating until they have bowel movements or pass gas, indicating that their body is returning to normal functioning.